going on, y'all? Hey, uh, we're doing something a little different. It's actually Thursday night, but we're doing the fishing story Friday. And I'm actually going to post this tonight, even though it's not Friday. Because um, Ezra wanted to be in this one. He wants to tell a story about a fish that he caught, his own fishing story. He's been really wanting to tell his story on this. So um, just listen and enjoy. All right. So your fish that you want to talk about, mm -hmm. what fish are you going to tell us about? A pumpkin seed that I caught. Pumpkin seed. And about how big was he? Was he, mm. was he this big? No. Was he that big? No. Was he that big? No. Was he this big? No. <laughs> he was about like that, wasn't he? About. He was probably... Like, um, think of like a smaller flounder. Yeah, he was probably a little over a pound because he was pretty thick, huh? Probably a pound and a half. Okay. And where were you, uh... Where were you fishing? Were you fishing a pond, a river, a lake? Hmm. Um, I don't know if it was a pond or a lake. It was a pond, right? Yeah. Yeah. So we were fishing a pond and... Three of them. Yep. There are three ponds and they, um... Well, and a big one. Yeah. Well, technically the... Technically there are four, but they sort of connect right there in the middle, huh? Mm -hmm. So four of them. But anyway, what were you fishing with? Um, a bobber and a, and a little gold hook. Mm-hmm. And what happened? So you had, what did you have on your hook? Bread. Ah, you, oh, you're using bread. Yeah. And what did you, what did you do? It. Tell I, us about when you cast it out and the whole, the whole thing. I cast it out, um, into, um, the lily pads. I started reeling it in, going to call the night. Then I hear a big splash on my baller. Really? You didn't see the bobber go under? No. Really? I just felt my rod go. Huh. Because I felt my reel go. Mm hmm My hand started shaking, mm -hmm. and then I set the hook, and then it starts pulling. It was it's, a good fight? Yeah, it pulled like 10 feet of line out. Wow. Was it peeling drag? Yeah. So it was like... <laughs> <laughs> and then what happened? And then I got him in. Uh huh. After after a fight. Mm hmm. Uh huh. About mm, four minute fight. Wow. Um. And then what'd you? And then I got him in. I unhooked him. Mm hmm. And then I let him and my brother hold it. Mm hmm. We got a picture, huh? And then I released him. Yep. And he swam away. Mm hmm. Good release. Mm hmm. There you go. Sometimes I just throw my bluegill uh, when they're small. When they're small, but he was big, so did you yeah. do a nice easy release? Yeah, that? I went. Oh. Like, like I would with a flounder, just a flat hand instead of like that. Cool, cool. So, big pumpkin seed. He was a little mm. over a pound, huh? Mm -hmm. It is a big pumpkin seed. Mm -hmm. And for anybody who doesn't know, a pumpkin seed is a type of bluegill. You have a, a bluegill, they're all considered brown. Bluegill, um, yellow sunfish, green sunfish. Um, pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin seeds. Pumpkin pig. seeds are the prettiest. They have a war mouth that's in there with, with the broom. That's like, a, it looks like a cross between a bass Crabby. and... No, it looks like a cross between a bass and a bluegill. It's a weird looking fish. Yeah, that doesn't look too great. <laughs> it, must be, it must have a tail like this. Mm-hmm. But anyway, so that's the fishing story Friday. Did you have anything you wanted to add on the fish catch? Was it fun? Yeah. But anytime we go fishing, it's fun, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that concludes the story, guys. Hope you enjoyed it.